It takes more than just wanting to go to space to get prepared to make the trip. It takes a lot of study and practice here on Earth. Since the 1960s, American astronauts have studied and trained for their space flights right here at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. That work starts in classrooms. Then the astronauts get hands-on training in this building, the Space Vehicle Mock-Up Facility. The facility is eight stories tall and two football fields long, big enough to hold full-scale mock-ups of the International Space Station, equipment for training on robotics and future space vehicles, and three mock-ups that were used for okay. space shuttle okay. training too. The work done here falls into one or two main categories. To train astronauts for their missions at the International Space Station, and to design the equipment and procedures needed for future deep space exploration. The mock-ups of the International Space Station take up about a third of the floor space. Inside, American astronauts and their crewmates from Russia, Europe, Canada, and Japan get a feel for the layout of the space station and familiarize themselves with the practical aspects of life in space. Everything from how to respond to emergencies to learning how to operate the kitchen and the toilet. Astronauts practice in the American modules, the Japanese and European laboratories, and the Russian modules, and the Soyuz spacecraft, which carries crew members to and from the station. The same hardware can support astronauts after they use the station, too. If something breaks in space, they can use the control ship and develop repair plans and techniques that will be relayed to the crews when needed, just as they did most famously during Apollo 13. For spacewalk training, there's the precision air bearing floor, where air pressure is used to make station equipment weightless and easier to manipulate. And the partial gravity simulator, for a taste of what it's like to float while you work. The other hardware in the building helps the NASA specialists who are designing and designing the missions of the future, starting with Orion, managed here at JSC and being built and tested around the country. Orion will take our astronauts to an asteroid. Mars, and one day, Mars itself. The Argo Trainer simulates the partial gravity of places like the moon or Mars to help develop the tools astronauts will need to work in those environments. The Six Degree of Freedom Dynamic Test System simulates two bodies in space, both in motion, to support the development and testing of docking or berthing systems. The second larger air-bearing floor is